Welcome to a drink of wisdom. Nathan Drigger, I'm Jake Wise. Thanks for spending some of your time with us. As a reminder, we're on Anchor, we're on Apple Podcast, we're on Spotify. If you're looking for the show in the video format, you can find it up at the A Drink of Wisdom YouTube channel. Drink, great to have you along on this fantastic Friday. Listen, I'm glad to be along on this fruitful Friday. You know what it is. I know you're ready to get into it, so I ain't even gonna waste no time without further ado. It's another day, another dollar. We give the streets what they need. We see what they don't and say what they want. Set your plates, cause it's time to eat. But last but not least, let's talk some sports, baby. What we got today, Jay? We're going straight to it, just like I like it. This is episode 18 of season three. We'll talk Patriots, Falcons, Lakers, Bucks, and we're gonna preview the weekend in college football. But to start this off, you know what time it is. We got to talk about this new COVID protocol for Thanksgiving. The NFL is laying down. Yes, folks, the NFL has decided to do it again, to change the rules, move the goal line, look at it however you want to look at it, because they got to keep everybody safe. So with that said, Jake, how you feeling about this, man? How you feeling about this new change in the NFL? I don't like it. Uh, it's it's subjective. It's arbitrary, which are uh, which is seems to be most of these things. Um, the the justification is, I guess, with the uptick in travel during uh, the Thanksgiving season, um, they're concerned about family members coming into town and bringing the COVID with them and spreading it all around everybody. So um, they've they've decreed that it's important for everybody to get tested now at some point that, you know, they unvaccinated players, they got to deal with the regular, uh, but now, you know, regardless of whatever, like the vax, the, the fully vaccinated um, are going to have to get tested. I think either Monday or Wednesday of the following week after Thanksgiving, just to make sure they're good. Um, you also have, you know, the, the most recent batch of tests that they did, from uh, the October 31st to November 13th. They had 81 positive tests. Then you look at pretty much from the first two months, um, September 5th through October 30th, they only had 97, well, they had 97, and that's over a two month period, basically vice 81 players through two weeks. So I don't know what the percentage is of how big of an uptick that is, but it, it's something they're concerned about. I would like to know um, how many of those 81 players that tested positive are fully vaccinated. Uh, I, I'd like to know that. I noticed that that is not in the reporting that I've read. Uh, we do know um, that the big, I think the big, um, the big name that's had a positive test recently is Nick Chubb, uh, Brown's running back, who I think we're both somewhat reliant on, on our uh, dwindling fantasy football hopes. So we have that in play. Yeah, he's been right. recently pulled off the COVID list. So that's that's kind of good. But I mean, that's but that's what I'm thinking about. Like, so just we have that example, you know, we we get kind of the the narrative that seemingly gets shoved down people's throats is like this is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Well, I'm not sure. I'd like to let's go down to New Orleans and look at the coaching staff who, you know, they had an 100 percent vaccination rate. And yet, like what, eight, eight coaches had, had it. So. Uh, this is these are the type of things that, you know, if you're just if you're just reading this and taking it, you know, as you see it, you might start to ask questions about, I don't know, the vaccine, uh, because it would seem as if, you know, the, the vaccination rates are really high. Um, I don't know for some of these teams, I don't know if they can get any higher. And, you know, if you, you know, we were led to believe, which goes back to the whole uh, moving the goal line, a goal post, or whatever they're moving, that, I mean, there's got to be an end to this at some point. And if there's not going to be an end, well, we just have to, I think you have to let people at some point uh, go about their lives the way they want to go about their lives. You know, I, I think I'm real big on personal responsibility and making the best decisions as individuals and family units. Uh, I think if you're an elderly person, if you got an underlying condition, then I think, you know, it's probably in your best interest to get the vaccine and get the, the next vaccine and just everything that they got coming because they got more coming. They got the assembly line. They got the boosters coming in next. They're coming in hot. But if you're, you know, these athletes, generally speaking, uh, you know, the healthiest, the healthiest among us in the prime of their lives, I, th I think some of this is a little bit overdone. 
not saying that there aren't occurrences, whether it be Jason, maybe Jason Tatum, who I think he has some difficulties with it. I'm not saying, you know, everybody's going to be immune or everybody's not going to, you know, you know, have a have an easy time if they catch coronavirus, but to just subject an entire population and, uh, you know, shut down the economy, shut down the schools, all these other things that we have done uh, for the good of public health, but the detriment of the rest of society. You know, I just think at this point, you know, about what, 20 months into this thing. I mean, there's just certain things I wouldn't be dealing with, like this whole idea that I don't know. I don't believe that. I don't know if they I don't think they can enforce this. But the thing why, uh, well, we want all the all the family members and all the uh, people coming in, however, they're getting there. You know, I imagine some people are flying in or whatever they're doing. You know, if you come in to visit and stay with uh, your family or whatever you're doing, well, you need to get tested and uh, they're going to have everybody, I guess, you know, set up drive through testing and you need to get this testing done before you interact with the the players and staff that your family members uh how about how about not how about you go you know go kick rocks pound sand uh we could throw some more colorful language in but we try to keep it somewhat family friendly so i won't but i just you know some of this stuff is just so over the top it's so foolish and i'm just i'm almost numb to it i mean i'm not up in here acting crazy today i'm not yelling uh, I'm not being I'm not pulling a Stephen A. Smith and just being hyperbolic about everything. I'm just I'm just tired. Like the the, the turn I, like I got COVID fatigue. I've had it for a while now, but I'm just I'm just so over it, man. Um, and I know it's I know people are still dying. I get all that, but you know we can't. You know the I, the thing that I mean the there's nothing revolutionary that they're coming out with. There's nothing next level to like man. We got something new. Hey. I know we did social distancing, we did masks, we did vaccine, we've done all these things. Oh, we got another spike. Well, we're just going to double and triple down on everything we've been doing. And I mean, that hasn't stopped anything, Drink. That hasn't stopped. It hasn't stopped the virus. And if it has slowed it down, well, I mean, Drink, if I go 35 miles per hour down the road, vice 65 miles per hour, I'm, st- I'm still going to get where I'm going. I'm just, right. it won't be as fast. It's the same thing with, vir- with the virus. It's going to do what it does. I mean, that's the whole thing about fighting something that's invisible. I mean, good luck. So I'm just over it. I think some of this stuff is draconian. I think the whole, now they got to have video cameras to make sure everybody's wearing masks. Even if it's, if, I mean, even if they're outside, drink, that's not rooted in science. I don't believe that's rooted in science at all. So <laughs> I'm over it. Uh, I'm tired of it. And I think some of this stuff as it results to like family members and then wanting to regulate those type of interactions. Just, 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 I'd look at the, if I'm a player in the NFL, like I would just, just roll my eyes and do what I want. So, you know, I, I got one basic point and that point, you know, I, I kind of harped on in the past is what's the benefit? Like, I would love to know what's the benefit of, for me as an NFL player now to go out and get vaccinated because if I go get vaccinated two months later, you change the rules and just lump me in. Then you try to ease up the rules and, hey, if you're vaccinated, all you got to do is this. If you're unvaccinated, you got to do all this. So then I say, okay, cool. Let me go and get, you know, this vaccination. Now the booster shots rolling around. I got I to gotta think at some point they're going to incentivize booster shots. So if you get the booster shot, you don't have to do all these things. If you don't get the booster shot, then you got to do these things. The problem with that at this point, if I'm an NFL player, yeah, that's, that sounds good for a two-month window, but then something else is going to happen, and then you're going to come right back in here and say, everybody got to wear a mask, everybody got to get tested daily, everybody got to do this, that, and the third. When does it stop, man? I just feel like, listen, in five yards, you can score a touchdown. No, 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 let's make that 10. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, 15. Hold up, 20. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why we keep changing this? Like, is the protocol going to stay the same for at least a year? Can we get the protocol to stay the same? I got it. This is a fluent situation. It's always changing. I got that. But this is downright ridiculous. You want what? You want to give my, my family a, a cavity search damn near before I can go and tell them happy Thanksgiving? Like... Uh, listen, I got it. I make a lot of money. So, I mean, I guess as an NFL player, I can't complain about nothing because I make so much money. Even though the little the little bit of 
individuality that I do have, which is bringing my family in and get to enjoy my personal people, my private people, and now you're trying to control that as well, it's just unacceptable. I know um, to your point, like we was talking about this before the show, at some point, when do players start saying, you know what, man, when do they pull the Ben Simmons and, you know, Ben Simmons for other reasons, but when do they say, you know what, yeah, you can have that game check. I'm out of here. I'm a, I'm a, I'll be at the house. Y'all don't find me my game check, whatever, whatever, and we'll be at the house. Like you said, how would it be if we, we pull up to, you know, the Dallas and the Raiders, I, I think it's the Raiders and, and the Cowboys, and it's no Dak, it's no Zeke, it's no C.D. Lamb, you know, I, I got top, I got Cooper Rush and Tony Pollard for you. Hey, enjoy that. But will we watch it? Probably. But then when we realize they're not playing because of this additional Thanksgiving protocol, it will start making us as fans wonder like, what like what's the point? You you you're messing up the product to keep hounding this this process. I'm not saying COVID is not real. I'm not saying COVID is not killing people. But what I am saying, it seems like every company, every organization, even in, 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 in the government, as soon as we hit a friction point, the answer is blanket everybody, make everybody do the same and double up on the same program. That's just, that's not, what are we doing? That's not acceptable. When are we going to get back to this being a personal choice? Are we ever going to get back to this being a personal choice? Because it, this is just getting crazy. Okay, so you did testing, and it seems like your rates went up about maybe 20 to 25%. So now everybody got to do all this unnecessary stuff. Why did I go get vaccinated? I should have just flopped around here and pulled a, a, a so-and-so. I could have I could have pulled an Aaron Rodgers. And I'm, and, you know, <laughs> I might as well just did yep. that because, I mean, mm -hmm. at, at least he's not going doing some unnecessary crap when he went out and did what he was supposed to do. He's in, uh, he's in hot water for not doing what he's supposed to do. So now if he had to do all this, this is just what he should have been doing in the past. But, like, if I'm a guy that did everything according to the NFL structure, what do I get? What What is my benefit from all this? And I, I, I just I don't care for the fact that you're blaming people for doing what they got to do just because you're scared that it's players out there that didn't do what they had to do. Or you're scared that family members going to come in. Listen you're not going to stop the human race. Like, I don't know what's going on here, but these guys, every guy in that NFL locker room has a family, whether that be a player, a staff member, a coach, uh, in, you know, the water boy, the ball boy, like everybody got a family. Thanksgiving is a family holiday. Christmas is a family holiday. They're going to meet their families. You can't control every single movement. Oh, we want to put cameras in. Oh, whatever. It's your organization. Put cameras wherever you want to. You get you're getting like borderline invasion of privacy here, but you know, who cares nowadays? Just do whatever you want to do. So I I just don't like like I said in the beginning, they're moving the goalposts. I don't appreciate that as a just a normal American citizen. I know they don't appreciate that as athletes. They at some point, where's the cap at? Where, where, where do we stop this nonsense? And I think um you know, just just another point. Uh, you know, a lot of times, and we, you know, if you if you've been paying attention, you know, to certain elected officials who have the most strictest of protocols for their their city or their state or you know what have you, they're generally the ones who are caught not following the rules. So then, to that point, it, it almost is like, so the people that come up to this um, in the league office or wherever, think about the think about the people who are reviewing the the surveillance footage. I mean, you th you think some of this is like, remember like after 9-11, you have the security state and now we, we, we gotta give, we got the Patriot Act and we got all these other things to like make you safe. And now that now, now it's like the same kind of thing, like, but it's just public health. Like, oh, now we need, now we need security cameras everywhere just to make sure you didn't cough on someone or just you had your, oh my God, you had your face covered uh, uncovered 10 seconds after you took that bite. What are you, God, what are you, what are you, a domestic terrorist? Like, what, just what, 
and but the people that watch this footage at the league office, like I and like you know, are making these policies. I I wonder. Are they like, I, I hope they're the most diligent, mask wearing, vaccinated, boosters, social distance. Uh, I really hope they are just the pinnacle of COVID protocols. I really do. But the whole thing, you, you said what I was, the next thing I'm concerned about, because, you know, we're heading into that period of the year where it's not just Thanksgiving, it's other things that are coming up. You can see the old, you know, you can tell that we're early around here with the old Christmas decorations. But, uh, you know, this is just a, this is almost to me, it's just a pretext for that. They're going to have similar things. They'll do the same things for Christmas, for New Year's. Um, it's almost like, you know, what is even the point of, so what are we going to do? We're going to have Thanksgiving and then we're going to cut down. We're going to let everybody relax for a few weeks. And then we're just going to turn up again on this. That's, I mean, that, that'd be the, that'd be the question I'm asking if I'm a player, like, so do I have to put up with this for like, you know, Christmas and New Year's too? Like, I don't know, man. I think we're in agreement on this. I think it's a bit much. And uh, I'm just, you know, so on some levels, like I am, I am disappointed with people. Like, I, I think there should be mass civil disobedience on this. Just like, oh, you want me to cover my face uh, whenever I go out in public? Uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually not going to do that. I don't think. And I'll go down, I'll go back to the, like the most basic principle that I think this boils down to. You don't live in a free society if you have to walk around with your face covered. It's just, it's just true.